All right, so like everyone, um, we're always on the hunt for uh, accessories and equipment that'll work for us. So remember, I got this little light. I showed this. I had it on the uh, SIG P320. It has a little quick latch. It's got a little piece in here that mounts into like a picatinny rail that fits your particular firearm. Also has the uh, port in here to, it has an internal battery to charge it. So here is the NC2 seat. No, that's not a bullet in there. That is my little laser bore sight thing, which I'll show you later. It works with a targeting system so you can practice safely. So to give you an idea, saw that little laser fire, watch. Wham, little laser in there. So anyway, this guy looks really promising to be able to fit on here, but I'm gonna have to do some modification. However, it won't fit in the holster, obviously, not gonna work. However, I might uh, set this up to go on the um, carrier, the new carrier system I'm setting up. Just have something lightweight uh, on your carrier. A little nine mil backup is the idea. So I'm gonna remove this and see if it'll fit in there. And to get it to go back further, I might have to um, see about removing this little rubber cover for the charge port. So we're going to see what happens with that. All right, so here I'm going to continue with the uh, finding a light for the M2, the MC2SC. Um, that's kind of difficult. So I've got three lights here. I got this. Uh, Trica, it's called. Uh, I just ordered one in black because I'll probably modify it to fit this. Uh, these run about right now, I think 40 max, so you might be able to find them on sale. This is the um, Vitatu that I had on here that works great. And then this is the TLR 7A. So we're talking like, you know, 120, 130 bucks here. $35, $40 bucks here, $35, and $40 bucks and under, usually on this one. So, point being is, on this, see the rail doesn't continue right there. So if you're looking to buy a gun that has like this, this is similar to, I think, the uh, SIG 365. So there is a $300 light that is the, like, XCS, I think it is, made by Streamlight. It's $300. So... <clears throat> that's a great piece of equipment, um, but it also comes at a very hefty price. One that uh, myself and I think a lot of you that watch my channel, you know, you're just not going to go there 300 bucks for a weapons light. Something like these would be more in reason. This is about half the price of the Streamlight one. Um, I think it's Streamlight. I might be wrong. I mean, you can look it up. It's expensive. It's uh, 300 bucks. You know, and then end up. So, it just depends on your level. Uh, obviously, if I was a professional and had to carry a gun every day, all day for my work and my life, depending on it, I would spend the $300. Um, but I'm not necessarily in that position, and I have other guns that have sufficient lights, like the TLR7. This is the next. The, the midway point and you know these are excellent however i'll show you this would fit on there great uh would it fit on here absolutely not you can see the rail where it attaches would be cutting right into this mold piece right there um this yeah it fits on there fantastic would it fit on here um it would however You've got this little bar in there, and it's not flush. That little bolt that locks this together is not flush. You'd have to remove this piece, which is not a big deal. You could do that. Um, so to give you an idea, see how this is completely flat in here. There's nothing. Or this one has that little bar right there, if you can see it. So it doesn't sit flush. It's really close. You know, I may try this one later. But this one, you use a screw right here to take this piece out. And this might be worth doing. Uh, maybe I'll stop the video and we'll check it out. But for right now, we're gonna talk about this one. 
So you can see here, I've kind of taken some stuff apart. So in the back, you've got a charging cover and it's just a little, do you see that against the white? It's just a little stopper and it pops in that little hole right there, if you're gonna put it in there. I popped it out because I need more space. You'll see when we get together. And this piece, goes in there and then you have the screws that, you know, mount it. And so this company, Trica, here's the box. Here's that box it comes in, nice little packaging deal. It gives you all these different types of rail attachment mounts in case you've got a notch like we have here in the, in the styre. So as you can see, these are empty. Go ahead and lock them up empty. I'm going to lock it up. Um, it's easier to tell what's going on with them when they're closed. Um, so anyway, the nice thing about this is a quick latch. So you could take it on and off uh, pretty easy. So once you remove this and you remove that, then, um, you know, this can attach on there pretty well. However, it, it does have a little bit of movement, um, but I think it's you know, strong enough. We'll have to take it to the range. We'll shoot it and see if it falls off. Um, anyway, that would, that would be the way it would, would attach on there. Uh, so again, they have those in FDE and they have them in black. Um, so there you go. You got a bunch of different items there. Uh, I don't know about, you know, taking stuff like this apart on, you know, the old YouTube channel, but this also comes with the, the Trica comes with a, a few um, nice little uh, attachment equipment. So I'll show you how this guy comes out the side here. And it's kind of funny, they use a wood screw for the, the Tato style. Um, yeah, I haven't tried to see if this would, would fit on there. I thought it wouldn't, but I'm looking at this locking screw, and if you look down this, it does actually sit pretty flush. So it would be great if I could get another Vitatu site to, uh, you know, uh, lock on and mount up. That would be cool. Uh, that would be a good one because they also make one that has the integrated laser. Um, which is kind of cool if you're into the laser thing. And wow. So it does hit the back and it's really hard to see in there. It does hit the back. It does seem to mount on there. Not a lot of uh, bite in the front, but hey, it gives you another cheap option. That is a good light. There is a little bit of gap in there. I don't know if I can get that on the screen. Yeah, see, see the gap right in here. Maybe I can clean it out with this one. This gap right in there. That could probably maybe be worked out, but I think it almost has to be there because of where the metal cuts are, where it locks in right here and bites into that rail. It just leaves you with a space in there. So you got a little bit of space. So it works. Uh, to give you an idea of the lumen check, right? Um, so I'll try to hold all three of these. See if we can get them all to light up. Without blinding myself. And there you go. So here's your different ones. So the TLR7A. The Trika, Trika, however you want to say it. And then the Vitatu on the right. So there's your lights. All three. Uh, wow, this middle one, the Trika, is pretty, pretty darn bright. I'm impressed. I've never really looked at them all three together. So there you go. Now you can see kind of what you're, you're dealing with. Maybe later I can go at night. This one's kind of nice because you push down on these and it activates it. These you can just accidentally bump on the side 
and I've done it before and caused that. Same with this one, it's a push over. So I don't know what this one has. Yeah, it does have strobe if you grab both of them and, and kick it on. This one has strobe if you hit it and then hit it again real quick. Um, I'm not sure about strobe on this one. I don't know if you had a... Anyway, I don't know. That, that gives you a chance to see how each one of those work and see if that's something that will work for you. So you guys that have these uh, MC2SC, uh, the MC2C, I think, can fit this one um, no problem. It's a little bigger. This is a subcompact, so obviously the SC. This one's smaller, so it's gonna be harder. Uh, next, I'm gonna be trying to find a holster that will work with one of these two because I'm probably gonna run one of these two lights. Uh, more than likely, I'm gonna run this one because if I wanna take it off, if I'm gonna go for a jog, I may not need this light. So I wanna be able to take it off easy. For this one, you know, you're gonna need a tool to unmount it uh, from the where it uh, attaches. So you need to pay attention to that. Uh, when you're doing your, um, when you're setting this up. So quick release, take it off, you know, on and off real easy for a jog, for a run or something like that, or going go, or whatever. So you could put it in a, a different holster if you need to. And then this one's permanently mount, and this is pretty much permanent, permanently mounted on. There's no, um, there's no way to really uh, uh, make that clip detach. So anyway, I think that kind of, concludes this video. Uh, please subscribe and um, comment if you have any other questions. I'll try to answer them. But this is what I found so far that is in my budget and um, meets the requirements of mine, what I think I need and what I want. So both of these have been fired on guns and tested for recoil on this and the P320. So these are, in my opinion, solid lights. Um, the only thing you gotta be concerned with, they have an internal battery. And uh, I don't know how replaceable that would be in the future. But once that battery is done, it's done. So unlike this, that, that uses a, a one, two, three. Um, so as far as battery stuff goes, this is, um, might be considered a better thing. However, these can definitely recharge on any laptop any USB connection, anything. So these are great. Anyway, have a good day. Oh, one other point for my Steyr guys out there. Um, hey, when I bought this, uh, the Tatu uh, light, it would not fit in the recess of the Steyr uh, hole in the front, the notch. Um, so, how it mounts up in here, I had to, um, to, to get this to, to lock in and hold. You can see here, I did some filing on it and some sanding. So, I had to reduce not only the top here, this part, but I also had to reduce this right here a bit to fit in there. So if you want to run this on your Steyr, um, you're going to have to, uh, you know, make make some make some changes in your life. Uh, no, make some changes in the gun, uh, or at least in that piece that goes in the light for it to fit on the Steyr recess. So there you have it. Uh, just a little helpful hint to the Steyr guys. All right, so I wanted to show you this connected on with the mods that I made. So you can see here, there's no, I'm pushing up with my thumb that way, just to show you. There's no real movement in that back end. It's pretty solid once it's on. And again, it is a really bright uh, output on this light. So you can see what the model number. Uh, anyway, goes on here great, and like I say, pop it off real easy and put this in a small holster or whatever 
they got like one of those jogging holster kind of things like I've got. Uh, the light doesn't really work, so you'll need to switch it around. There you have it, guys. So, guys, with the Mossberg MC2 SC looking for accessory stuff, uh, come to my channel, comment, and, uh, you know, subscribe.